Good morning from Phnom Penh. Y'all, this place, I'm loving this city. Look at this, our hostel is right next to the monks. So a pretty peaceful place to wake up. Uh, we're headed to the killing fields today. It's gonna be a tough day just learning about all of that, but um, it's a big part of Cambodia's history and gosh, it really wasn't even that long ago. So definitely a, a must see in this city. All right, we got our tuk-tuk. We got our crew for the day. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Just got into the museum. It is three dollars for your ticket, three dollars for the audio headset. So not too bad. And uh, here we go. It's 14 graves behind me represent the last 14 victims of of this area. And um, wow, this is just the beginning. But already, it's pretty intense. This used to be a place of uh, study. Uh, this was a high school that they converted into a place of uh, just nightmares of torture and killing and oh, it's just, it's, it's so terrible. <laughs> So many of the people who are taken prisoner were not even told of the charges <coughs> that they were taken in on. And so they would torture them until they would admit to the charges that they would want them to admit to, and then they would take them to the killing fields. There were only about set there were only seven survivors that made it out alive. So just a few days after the uh, revolution was accomplished in Phnom Penh, three days later, this new political party moved in and moved everyone out of the major cities into the countryside, telling them that more bombings were coming and that it was going to be unsafe. Well, and that they could move back in three days. It was a total lie. Ended up marching everyone out, and if you refused to go, they killed you. So all these people were essentially slaves of Angkor. And if they didn't complete, well, almost three million people died. <coughs> so they'd have to do 13 hour, 18 hour days trying to grow rice. And it just was not feasible. Because of suspicion, they assumed that people were against the revolution. So uh, there were Americans and Australians that were captured and interrogated, and they were interrogated until they would admit to treason, and then from there they were brought to the killing fields and executed. This is Building C, and this is one of the areas they would detain the people who they thought committed treason. So on this first floor, it was all brick. Just cram them in. So single cells from here, they would go to interrogation. Up on the third floor, it's where they had mass rooms. So immediately when the prisoners would come in, they would get their height as well as, tough to see, but take their photograph because they had to document everything that they did. This memorial was partially funded by Germany, who um, they wanted to remember at least 12,000 of the names that they were able to document 
So, if you come to Cambodia, definitely need to, just to learn about this. Just a very, very tough part of Cambodia's history. What did you think of S21? I think it's hard to describe because it's just really heavy things you have to deal with if you're going through. So, but it reminds me of our own history. So, yeah. yeah. Good for people to see? Definitely worth it. And definitely a must do. Yep. We've now made our way over to the killing fields. It was about a 15 kilometer drive from outside of Phnom Penh. Um, so this is where the people from S21 were taken to be killed. People they were executing <coughs> were artists, musicians, anyone educated, anyone that spoke a second language. It seems like they were fearful that they would take over, so they're, they called them the old and the new. And the old were the people that had, that worked in the fields and uh, hard labor. And so they were the ones promised jobs, they bought into this idea, and they were the ones that served, that, that worked the prisons in these killing fields. And so they would bring people in by the truckloads and bring them to the killing fields and murder them. And bullets were too expensive, so they would use garden tools, whatever sharp object they could find. talk too much throughout the uh, the walkthrough just my respect for all those who were brutally murdered in this area um, but it just really kind of opens your eyes that if you ever see anything that doesn't seem right you got to speak up you got to um, genocides are just so terrible and sometimes preventable it just takes one person to say something so if you're ever in Cambodia, I highly recommend checking this out. It's uh, tugs on the heart. It's not an easy day, but it's something that everybody needs to learn about. Booked 
we figured out what we're doing. We're headed to the National Park tomorrow. The best thing you can do in Cambodia. I feel that was a little sarcastic. But yes, it is the best thing you can do in Cambodia. Let's make sure no bikers steal my phone. We're okay. We'll be there. We're going to get motorbikes. It's going to be so much fun. And then they head to the beach. I head to Seam Reap. Y'all, this is going to be a great time. Beach sounds better, actually. Oh, whatever. Oh, my. Get out of town. Jeez. <laughs> Nicest casinos I've seen yet. This place is huge. It should be. It feel. Like it should be in Vegas. 